And lots of people become a product manager from very different backgrounds, but all of them master the six essential skills to become a product manager. I believe all of you guys can use the same skills to upgrade yourself to become a product manager as well. But most people do not apply the number six skills, which last skills I discussed in this video, because this is most important skills going to reduce significant amount of stress in the new product management career. So therefore make sure to stay until the end of the video to learn more. Dr. Nancy Lee, a director product and featured in Forbes. I've helped 100 people land their dream PM job offer in fan companies and unicorn startup and continue to get promoted as a product leader. If you want to take the product management course, please go to pmaccelerator.io to learn more. To use the most effective way to become a product manager, you should subscribe to the channel and turn on the like button so be notified every time I turn on new video every week. Make sure to check out our Instagram to learn the behind scenes stories with some people just with very similar background just like you. The number one skill to become a product manager is leadership skills. All the product managers need to lead without authorities because product managers need to interface and lead across functional teams such as design team, software development, sales and marketing team, and legal team. All these teams need to launch a product together to impact end users' lives. However, almost all the teams have different needs and desire and all have different bosses. Product managers are not anybody boss based on a title, but we need to make sure other teams also listen to your product strategy or product vision. So therefore, the leadership skills are number one skills product managers need to master. The size of team product managers need to lead can be from a few people such as three people, five people, all the way up to 30, up to 100 people led by product managers. So therefore, it's very important you know how to lead a group of people. Even if leadership sounds very high and senior level, but if you're entry level product managers in your career, you need to learn how to lead without authority. If you want me to teach the leadership skills, please comment in the description of this video. The second most important skills for product managers are product strategy and product vision. Product strategy sounds very easy, lots of people can talk about strategy, but it's very hard to implement. For example, Steve Jobs launched iPod, iPad, iPhone, iWatch, all those impressive products out there, and other competitors, it's very hard to catch up with them, and other people just want to copy what they did, and very few of them can do better than them. When Steve Jobs launched iPhone, he was able to create a brand new product and that's to replace Blackberry. So the iPhone today you use are able to watch my YouTube videos and other uh, social media content as well. When Steve Jobs also launched iPad, in the past nobody was thinking about they need a bigger screen or bigger iPhone to watch videos or engage with others, but nowadays everybody has iPad. This is all due to great product strategy and product vision that Steve Jobs has. In order to create very strong product strategy, you need to understand the competitive landscape. You also need to understand what kind of product features you need to build or what kind of new product you need to launch and why, so that you're able to beat your competition and create a product that customers love. On top of that, you also need to master product mindset. So what is product mindset? Product mindset is thinking as if you are the product manager, you're the CEO of product before you even become a product manager. For example, even if your current title is a software engineer, a designer, a marketer, or a consultant, you still see any kind of product you present in front of you, how you're able to improve the product, what kind of features you need to build, and all of this is thinking as if you are a product manager before you even become one. So you need practice the product mindset starting from today. And lots of time in order to create amazing product strategy, you need certain framework. I invented my own framework called Gucci framework, where I teach you in this free training right here, how would you use the best framework to answer product strategy interview questions. Feel free to check out this video and learn more. I'm also going to link the video in the description of this video. The third most important skills for product managers is customer empathy. Customer empathy means that you need to understand the needs of customers and wear the shoes of customers so that you are able to address a pain point by creating the right product and the right features. And lots of products in the past are able to create a product, but they failed to launch the product because the product itself has no problem, but no users want to use it. Let me give you an example, Google Glass. 10 years ago, Google launched Google Glasses, but 
the Google glasses were too bulky, looked so future looking. And Google was very great in terms of creating a prototype because they're the best engineering team. But the engineers didn't have enough customer empathy to understand the pain point of people wearing those very bulky Google glasses, what their objections, how you're able to really address the true pain point instead of creating something fancy but nobody want to use it. So how to really master customer empathy? That's everybody in front of videos, you can do this as well. So as a product manager, the best way to master customer empathy is fall in love with your customers, wearing their shoes and understand their day-to-day -day interactions and have some kind of customer interviews. And just like how I did here. fell in love with customers in a day-to-day -day basis. The fourth essential skills for managers is agile product management development methodology. So what is agile product management methodology? It's very straightforward. It's using the short amount of time, such as two week sprint, to create MEP and adding additional features on top of existing product and test out with your end users early in the process. In contrast with agile methodology, in the past, company has been using waterfall methodology. So waterfall methodology is to build a product from beginning to the end, and then do not interface with customers until very end of the development process. But software company frequently introduces agile methodology where you're able to write user stories, Jira ticket, and Kanban board, that you quickly move different user stories and quickly build something such as minimal viable product, and then learn how to improve it throughout the entire software development process so that you're able to quickly shorten the amount of development time and also increase the customer feedback loop so that you're able to build the best product that's able to solve the pain points of your customers. I filmed a video regarding how Google developed their product using the Agile methodology. You can check out this video right here where I invented Google Product Manager to teach you the same methodology that's been used by Google. So check out this video right here and also going to link in the description of this video. If you want me to teach you the step-by-step -step guidance regarding how to build product using Agile methodology, please comment in the description of this video so I know lots of people want this content. The fifth essential skill for product managers is communication skills. I cannot emphasize how important the skills is, but lots of people do not execute it correctly. First of all, let me define what is communication skills. Communication skills are broken down into three aspects for product managers. First of all, is align product vision. Second, is storytelling skills. And third, is public speaking skills. Product managers need to communicate in a short and concise way and quickly describe what the product vision is and most importantly to inspire other people to follow your vision so that all the teams from different departments like sales marketing team, software development team and designer teams are able to follow your vision to execute on your grand vision. Storytelling skills is also very important because product managers are frequently the quarterback of a football team such as Tom Brady. And so as a quarterback, it's very important all the men on the football field are in the same vision as how you think the team need to perform. So therefore, you need to tell a great story to inspire all your team so that they know what the future they're going to build together. Public speaking skills is also critical for product managers. This is very great for people who want to continue to get promoted as a senior product managers or director product because frequently we need to share our product vision and also present the best outcome of our product to customers through the customer presentations and sales meetings. And lastly, the C scale is most people do not do, but it's very critical to reduce the stress in your new job, which is time management skill. Product manager frequently pull into so many different meetings and very likely you have seven hours meetings every day. And then finally, towards the end of the day, you, you have the time to work on your real job, which is conduct customer interviews and writing requirement. But during the day, you spend seven hours in meetings. So a great product manager needs to learn how to say no to meetings. They also need to learn the best methodology to manage their time, their calendar, and how to drive meetings very effectively. Here is how I manage my time. In my video regarding the day in life as a director product, I share with you guys regarding how I use the Jira board to manage my time. Um, you can take a look at the videos I share right here. So basically, 
I put all my tasks into Jira board to manage my time and also tightly guard my calendar to know what kind of time I laser focus on thinking and writing user stories, what, what kind of time I focus on doing different kind of cross-functional team meetings. If you're currently preparing for product manager interviews, you should go to this website and where you can download the 50 product manager interview questions database to help you prepare for your upcoming mock interviews and especially uh, for fan companies and unicorn startup and those interview questions, the real life interview questions you're going to encounter in your interviews. If you like any free tips we provide today, please make sure to like, and comment, and share this video with any aspiring product managers. This is Dr. Nancy Lee from PM Accelerator.io. Make sure to also check out this video where I talk about the realistic life as a product manager working for tech companies and which have seven hours meeting. Make sure to watch this video right here as well. I'm going to see you in my next video. This is Dr. Nancy Lee. Bye.